All right, on this rainy evening, we will play. Now, this evening we're going to explore dreams as the doorway into metaphysics. Now, what is this? How am I going to explore it? I have a great next page here, which I'm sure you're going to enjoy. So make your notes of it very carefully. There it is. <laughs> now we're going to have to fill that page up. But it's a blank page to begin with. The meta kind of metaphysics we're going to explore has one principle. And that's the one we're going to go back to later, but let me first describe it. All right. Could you say that again? The kind of metaphysics I was a little distracted. You have to, you didn't meet, you didn't miss anything. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> A curious kind of metaphysics, but fundamental to this metaphysics is one idea. Okay. And the idea is that there is an unfoldment in stages, and the unfoldment is always based upon a mean analogy. A mean analogy proceeds two ways. It proceeds vertically, either way, and horizontally. Now, the particular orders that proceed this way are unity, intelligence, soul, soul and body. Now, let's take this idea first. Unity presupposes, in order for there to be unity, it presupposes there must be first a one. Because to talk about a unity means there must be the condition for a one to exist. Because if you have a one, then you can have the next step down, which is a oneness. If you have a one, and you have a oneness, and at this point I'm a, I am not making any difference between oneness and unity, Now, once you have a unity, a turning around a unity, a dynamic unity, then you can talk about what it accomplishes. Of course, what it accomplishes is that there must be a procession and a return. If it's a dynamic unity, if there is a dynamic unity, then there must be a return to its origins. A procession from it. Right. A procession from it, a turning around. Now, if there is a procession and a returning to the origin, 
and it accomplishes that, then we have the unity. So then, we can say, if one, then a unity. Then we can say, if a unity, then they are, they are unities. If there is intelligence, there are intelligences, or a manifold. So therefore, we're going to call each one of these horizontal movements an order. An order. Therefore, these are the different kinds of orders. Now, if I say these are the different kinds of orders there are, I want to make another point about it. I want to say that in any order, the primary term in any order represents that order par excellence in the highest degree. So therefore, if uh, in any order, whatever it is, if there were in the physical world, oh, well, let me pull back from the physical world first. Uh, if there is such a thing as intelligence, then the first term in the intelligence would be intelligence par excellence and the most highest expression and the fullest expression if, of it. If there's the order of soul, then that first term must be the most fullest soul uh, which could show its excellence most fully. And then there can be others. And that's what I mean by a descending order and a horizontal order. And that's all. With that, we can forget about it entirely and proceed into the world of dreams. All right? Just two ideas. If there's a source and there are there is this development from it, it proceeds down, and we can make the mean analogy, by the way, uh, in a few moments, but essentially the mean analogy is going to be if there are two things which participate, that participation then can be expressed as a mean analogy. So therefore, in each of these, when I say there is an order, this would be A, these would be the mean terms, and the third then would be the extreme B, which then is capable of participating, and the same thing would move throughout. So then, let's see how we might be able to use this curious idea. From studying dreams, we will now then see what dynamics are involved in it, see what kind of a universe that presupposes, find those categories, put them back in what we just said, and develop it from there into what is a, will be a full dress metaphysics. So, any dreams? Did you bring one with you? One? All right, let's play. Can you give it aloud?